In this video, I'm going to give you the best man-beating play in Madden right now, at least in my opinion. It's really good. And um, drive post out of trips, man. I love this play. And um, it's just really good. So uh, New England trips, New England playbook, trips tied in. If you want to get my trips ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Link is in the description. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. This post route's the best man beating around the game, in my opinion. And I don't think it's even close at this point. Um, but I'm gonna give you a really good setup. So, um, if you we're gonna talk in the future about if you have outside apprentice and stuff, I'm gonna give you the setup just so you can use it, even if you don't, even if you don't have outside apprentice. So here's your setup. We're going to in route the uh, outside trips receiver. We're going to smart route him. We're going to streak the middle trips receiver. We're going to drag or in route our tight end. And then we're going to block our running back. We're going to motion over the streak. And we're going to snap the ball kind of right when he, right about here. And you'll get this little speed burst. You're going to high ball, pass lead outside, and you're going to ag them. And until this gets patched, until they change things, this is one of the best routes in the game for beating man. And we're going to pair that with another really good route for beating man, which is this route to uh, Chris Godwin. So again, you motion that out. And now you see how good this route is at beating man as well. Um, it's the most consistent route in the game that i found. The streak in this, in this post. And we're going to pair the two of them together in one play. And then we'll show you these other two routes in just a second. But what's so good about this is if you can work on getting this motion snap right, he'll not only serve as a great ag candidate, okay, um, but he will also he will also be very valuable if your opponent is running zone. Let me show you what I mean. So if they run a third or they're running some kind of zone, he will run off routes. So you'll see here he's going to run off the zone. And then now that's open in behind the zone, as you see right there. Really valuable and really effective. Now, um, so they're going to have to do a lot over there. They're going to have to, they are going to have to do a lot to stop this. You know, at, at the bare minimum, they're going to have to have two people in the area of Julio Jones, which would mean to drop a deep half, okay, or something. Now, my tight end is going to be wide open over here, as you can see. So to stop my tight end, guess what they have to do? They have to drop a zone over there, especially if you have short and elite. So they're going to drop a flat over here to stop the tight end. Best case scenario, they can drop a curl flat over here to stop the streak. Although I'll show you real quick if they do something like that, because that's what the that's what I would try to do. Um, if they do something like that to try to stop the streak, you just want to wait on the streak a little bit more. So you'll see here, um, you know, just let him kind of get over the top of him. And you see that that purple does nothing. They have to have a deep zone, okay? Or that 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 zone has to be zone dropped significantly. So, you know, you get something like, uh, whoops, you get you get something like a deep half, this hard flat, and then now they're the only person in the middle of the field, okay? So they have to basically guard two routes. They're gonna have to guard. They're gonna have to guard the deep post and the deep in. So here you see here look at look at where that deep end's getting open though. The deep end is getting open outside really at the hash marks. So it's going to be really hard because the post is coming over here. So they're going to have to be in this area. Now again, this is assuming that the running back is is always blocked. We do have other setups in the trip side in ebook where he's not going to be blocked. Um you know, so if you wanted to put him on an out route or something. You could do that, right? You can kind of adjust this and tailor this to their adjustments. Um, but what's so good about this, like I said, is they have to go guard that post and that leaves that in route wide open. Smart routed in routes are really decent against man. Um, another thing that's really common in this game because of how good the C route is, is an adjustment that looks like this, where they take the safety and they man him up on the C route. Then they're going to have to drop this hard flat for the tight end. And then now they're going to have to have some kind of die in there. So they literally run out of players. They literally just run out of players. You have to blitz at least three people in this game to get any kind of pressure um, whatsoever. And they just run out of players. And, and, and you see how good this is. So again, boom, not there, not there. But look who's wide open right there. So depending on who they use her, that's going to tell you who you're going to throw the ball to. The beauty of this post route is it's open at different points in the play. It's open oftentimes right on the cut. 
but it's also going to be open for you, um, you know, right there in that little window. So this is just such a powerful play. Let me show you get zone really simple. Um, zone's not too complicated. Essentially, uh, what we're looking for is either the drag. So your streak is there. Your drag right here, right there, freeform that outside. And now what that does is it forces the zone to have to come underneath to guard your drag. Okay. So then what that does is it's going to leave your, and again, my tight end's a little slow for this, but it's going to leave that dig wide open in the middle of the field. And then they have to use her, Chris Godwin. Okay. And so that is how this play is just going to consistently break down zone coverage this is an incredible incredible play um there's so much more we can get into we'll get into these and uh, we'll get into this play a little bit more in the future this is in the ebook there's more though in the ebook more expansion on this play is in our ebook um if you want to get the full trips tied in offensive ebook make sure that you are in the patreon the patreon's only i think 10 bucks a month yeah it's only 10 bucks a month so if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.